वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम इलेवन डैश थ्री सो स्टेटमेंट इज सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम इलेवन डैश टू इफ पी इज टेन केप्स सो वट इज द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ इलेवन पॉइंट टू डिटरमाइन द विद ऑफ द बीम टू द नियरेस्ट वन और फोर इंच दैट विल सिंपली सपोर्ट द लोडिंग ऑफ पी इज नाउ टेन केप्स अलाउेबल बेंडिंग स्ट्रेस इज ट्वेंटी फोर के एस आई एंड शेयरिंग स्ट्रेस इज फिफ्टीन के एस आई सो द गिवन डेटा इज रिटर्न ओवर हेयर सो यू हैव टू फाइंड द मिनिमम विथ ऑफ द beam so if you look at this is the height of the beam and what will be the width so width is this width is b this height is 6 inch clear and you can see this is a overhanging beam with a loading at this end is p there is a roller support at point a and pin support at point b what if we remove this roller support so there will be a reaction force which is represented as r a this force is downward this will be upward and what if we remove this pin support at point b so this force will be also downward which is r b so we will find this r a and r b by using uh, equation of equilibrium so first equation of equilibrium is that sum of all moment about point a is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise moment as positive so about point a the first moment is p into perpendicular distance is 6 and this is producing counter clockwise so its moments will be positive the second moment will be rb into perpendicular distance is 6 feet and that is clockwise its moment will be negative but their sum must be equal to 0 so p into 6 minus rb into 6 is equal to 0 so from here you will get rb is equal to p and p is 10 kips okay so this is the value of rb now we will find uh, ra by using in another equilibrium condition that sum of all forces along y direction must be equal to 0 and upward force is taken as positive so we have minus p plus r a minus r b is equal to 0 so minus p p is 10 plus r a minus r b which is 10 is equal to 0 so from here r a is equal to 20 k now you have both r a and r b i will write r a is 20 kips now and r b is 10 kips so we will find the maximum bending stress clear because we have been given that allowable stress and allowable shearing stress so we know that allowable shearing stress is equal to maximum bending moment into c divided by i so we do not have maximum bending moment so for that we will draw the shear force and bending moment diagram so what we will do is that we will take the vertical line from the end of the beam here you will draw the length that is in x will be in feet shear force in kip okay so let one division is equal to 5 kip so 5 and 10 minus 5 and minus 10 clear so at uh, this point you can see we have p which is minus 10 so your first point of, uh, of shear force will be this one now moving from p till this ro roller support there is no other force so it will remain same so shear force will remain same over here it will be minus 10 now here at point a we have r a which is plus 20 so minus 10 plus 20 will be equal to 10 so shear force will change to 10 okay this is 10 kips and again moving from point a till b there is no other force shear force so it will remain same and at the end you can see you have rb which is minus 10 which will bring it to 0 okay so 
so this is your shear force diagram now what will be the bending moment diagram so for bending moment diagram again i have a horizontal line so if we take a line over here for showing the length in feet and moment will be in kips into feet so let each division is equal to minus uh, 30 it will be minus 60 now moment at this point will be equal to 0 because x is equal to 0 now the area under the, this shear force diagram this area is equal to minus 10 and this length is 6 which is equal to minus 60 and this is downward so first we will locate minus 60 so at this point we will be having this is minus 60 clear and this shear force is a horizontal line with zero degree and this area is negative so bending moment will be one degree higher it will be straight line and slope will be decreasing okay now the second area under the shear force diagram this area is 10, 6 into 10 because 10 is this height and 6 is its length clear so it will be equal to 60 so minus 60 plus 60 will bring it to 0 at this point so we will get the bending moment will be like this okay now if you design design beam on allowable bending stress so we, we know that allowable bending stress is equal to maximum bending moment into c divided by i clear so you can see this is the cross section of the beam this is its bread b which we are interested to point out this is its height which is equal to six inch and if you take the half of this this will be your neutral axis and this distance from neutral axis till upper this is equal to c and that is 6 divided by 2 which is 3 inch now maximum bending moment will be taken from the absolute value of maximum bending moment is minus 60 and that is equal to 60 kips into feet c is taken as 3 inch now what about i so i for rectangular cross section is 1 over 12 b into 6 cube clear so you can just put all the values in this formula let me put it allowable stress is equal to maximum bending moment into c divided by i clear allowable bending stress is 24 let me show you 24 ksi will not convert it into kilo so 24 is equal to maximum bending moment is 60 kips into feet so we'll convert feet into each and one feet is equal to 12 inch so 12 into c is 3 inch divided by i is 1 over 12 b into 6 q now you can rearrange and you can calculate b when you calculate it it will be equal to 5 inch the remaining steps are very easy you can do it this is the breadth of which now we will check that this breadth is also this is 5 inch so we will check because for share because we have designed it on the basis of uh, bending allowable bending stress so for shear we know that uh, allowable sharing stress is equal to v into q divided by i into t so what is q q is the first moment of inertia of this area this is a dash clear and y dash what what is the y dash so y dash is distance from neutral axis till the centroid of this section so this is y dash bar and that is equal to 3 divided by 2 which is 1.5 inch so i will write q is equal to y dash bar into a so y dash is 1.5 and a is 3 multiplied by 5 clear so this is the v will be taken from the shear force diagram that maximum value is 10 
so v is 10 kilo uh, 10 kips t is taken as breadth which is equal to 5 inch this is the thickness clear and i is i is equal to 1 over 12 5 into 6 cube now you have all the values you can just put it in this formula so you will get allowable sharing stress is equal to 10 into 1 q q is 1.5 into 3 multiply by 5 divided by i i is 1 over 12 5 into 6 cube and thickness is 5 so when you calculate it it will be equal to 0 0.5 ksi now you can see that allowable sharing stress is equal to 0 0.5 ksi and that is less than the allowable sharing stress given in the data 15 ksi so we have 15 ksi so in given data it is given 15 ksi and we have allowable or maximum i will write maximum as well so maximum sharing stress is less than allowable in the question so it means that b is equal to 5 inch is okay and that was all about problem 11-2 i hope you have enjoyed this video and you have learned this those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest videos if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching